This is an underwater pool light engine. It's got a bunch of LEDs. It's 500 watts. So I wanted to take the LEDs off and use them because they're still good. Use them for task lighting for my soldering station. In this shot, you can see that the whole device is a printed circuit board and it's printed on copper. So the lines that come to the lights uh, just peel up. You can peel them up and then you can solder wires right on them. I have this old speaker wire that wasn't doing anything, so I was going to use that because it's, uh, it's light gauge and it's lightweight and uh, it lo it'll look good on the soldering station. This is the back of the on-off switch that I'm attaching to the back of the soldering station. The switch is just a regular toggle switch. There's a 9-volt battery here on the back. It's in a holder. It's easy to replace when I need to. And the curious thing about that is the battery worked better than a 9-volt power supply transformer. I attached the lights to some grid ceiling hanging wire and then just taped the, the lights onto the wires. And they're adjustable for wherever I need the light. Then I wanted to have a fan because when you solder it creates smoke that's not good for you. So if you have a fan it can blow the smoke in a different direction. I had this super old wire. The wire is so old the blades are the same size. There isn't one bigger than the other. And this fan came out of a computer. It's a 120 volt so I, it can plug right into the wall. But I wasn't sure so I wanted to test it. And I didn't want to test it on where I was working because I didn't want to blow the circuit if that was going to happen. So I took it into the bathroom where this is GFCI and used that. I attached a small cord reel to the back. So now the wires can be wrapped up and everything's neat. And it's ready for use.